What's good, YouTube? It's your boy King Paul, aka I'm some ball ball, and I'm back at it again with another V I D E O. One of the most painful things that I had to endure growing up was being stressed from not understanding the homework problem and then going to my parents just for them to put me in more stress. So today I'm gonna remake a couple scenarios and just show you the different type of ways that African parents can either help you get more confused or help add stress onto your shoulders when you go to them for help with the homework problem. And yup, that's it. Let's get it. So up first we have the clueless one. The clueless African parent is a parent that doesn't understand anything that they're reading, but they're gonna continue rereading it so that they can understand it. And like, they lose focus on trying to help you and focus more on understanding the problem for themselves. Okay, so if Y equals MX plus B, and MX, okay. If y equals mx plus b, and y is 2, so y is 2, but y equals mx plus b. If you don't know how to solve it, just say you can't solve it. Coming in second is the faker. The faker is basically when you ask your parent for help with homework and they just keep rereading the question and try to break out different parts of the question and act like they understand what they're saying and try to make the question make sense. If why is Ah, okay, okay. I see what they are saying now. Look, Tega. They are saying you must find the y and y equals mx plus b. So in order to find the y, you must add mx to b. Yeah, I know that, but how If you I know that, then the work is self-explanatory. But I don't know what to do to find y. All you do is add mx plus b. Up next, we have the helping helper. The helping helper is basically when you ask your parents for help and they just direct you somewhere else, like whether it be to ask somebody else for help or just ask Google. Hey Dad, um, can you please help me with this homework problem? I'm sorry, I can't help you. I don't understand any of this new school American mathematics that you kids do nowadays. Go and ask Bonkusha. <sighs> okay. Coming in both. This is eight fingers. Coming in both place is the prideful one. The prideful one is the parent that has no clue about the question that they're reading, but they're too prideful to admit that they don't understand it. So they're just gonna try to flip it on you. Um, hey dad, um, I'm having trouble with my homework. Can you help me? Of course I can help you, son. Let me see the work. Here you go. Hey, I don't know how to do this one though. Hi, this looks hard. Wait, didn't I teach you this thing in school? Yeah, but I still- But what? But you are on your phone instead of paying attention! No, I wasn't! Ah, man, shut up your mouth! Instead of you to be taking notes in class, you are probably watching Tube You. I like, get out of here! The last and the worst type of parent to help you with work is the abusive one. Whether that's being verbally abusive or physically abusive. The abusive parent will make you answer that question by force, like, they will not- get tired of you saying the wrong answer or whatever, they're just gonna keep getting madder and madder whenever you answer the question incorrectly. So if y equals mx plus b, and y is 15, m is 3, and x is 4, then what is b? A? If you give me another stupid answer like that, I will just slap you silly. You need to multiply the M and the X, then figure out what B must be in order to get Y, which is 15. So if M is 3 and X is 4, what is 3 times 4? 12. Okay, now what can you add from 12 in order to get 15, which will be the B? 17. That's what I'm 17 equals 15? No. Then why did you give me that answer? <laughs> I don't know. If Y is 15 and MX equals 12, what do you have to add onto 12 to equal 15? If you take more than 10 more seconds to answer this simple question, I will just annihilate you. Hey, my friend, please follow me on all of the apps below and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Toodaloo!